four years ago, I uh, decided it was time for a career change. Um, so I uh, looked around and ended up getting a job as a data entry clerk, which is a kind of an entry level position, and, and I was decent at it. But I realized if I wanted to go any further, I would need to further my education. Most of the jobs had degree requirements, and uh, at that point I started going back to school, uh, you know, just taking a few part-time classes at first, and then once I got comfortable moving into full-time. I chose UIS, basically I had a couple solid criteria. One, I needed an online program because I work. And two, I uh, wanted a university that had a strong computer science department, and uh, UIS had both of those. It was local. I live here in Springfield, so I can take lecture courses as well if needed, and uh, utilize all the on-campus resources. Um, everything out here just kind of works perfectly for a person in my position. Uh, I'm also a veteran, so I utilize the VA office to help uh, facilitate my tuition. So with Jeremy, um, he came in uh, with a, a, a lot of uh, networking uh, background. So he did decide to go into the programming side. So looking through the courses that he had already taken, um, we, we went through, saw what he still needed to take, um, helped him get those, those courses figured out, um, along with making sure that he took classes that he could be successful in as far as how much time he had. He was not just my online coordinator, he was a, he's actually a professor too, and I, I took one of his online courses. So we've had a lot of interaction as being a student of his class as well. But definitely engaging your academic advisor is, is key point. They will be able to tell you the difficulty levels of the courses you're taking and what, what the demands are. We are essentially like their feet on campus <laughs> and um, pointing them in the right direction. You know, sometimes a student might uh, be in a situation where, you know, they're in a class, uh, things might not be going the way they wanted them to. They might reach out to me and say like, hey, you know, uh, I might be having difficulties with this. Um, you know, I can reach out to um, our a professor for them. Um, reach out to a, you know admissions for them and things like that so really just kind of um, helping them out that way and getting them in touch with the right people but I like to give them things to do that will reinforce the classroom material and also relate to things that they, they will see if they go out and get employed somewhere he would give you assignments that would replicate a, an on-the-job uh, task I need you to design a program to do X A and Y and uh, you would be able to go through the motions of what would simulate a real world assignment with deadlines and time and documentation and you know, the, whole, the whole thing. Uh, I really enjoyed this course. If you're arguing with yourself as a student, as, you know, should, I, should I pay for an MIT degree or a Stanford degree or uh, would UIS or uh, UIUC or some other state university somewhere be okay? The state university is actually sometimes even a better fit for you because um, going to a, a brand new location, paying large amounts of money and getting large student loans can be quite difficult. Um, so starting, starting your business career with less money out, going out every month to loan payments and everything else can be quite beneficial. And uh, the quality of the education, uh, I, I think the quality of the education here is comparable to any one of the, the Ivy League schools. To want to learn the material and not just pass the course, um, that's, that's where the online program really comes into play is you, it's all on you to, here's the material, if you want to learn it, here's all the tools to learn it, but you have to exercise it, you can't just go through the motions.